What's this? Eternal fire. White Wolf, we've been expecting you. I see we're all here. Good. We can resolve this. Ha. Ah, I underestimated you in the swamp. But you won't surprise me now. Even Siegfried of Dinell would follow you into fire. All is aligning with the grand plan. Should you demonstrate wisdom, you'd see it realized. What if I refuse? Witches are simple and sentimental. Who are you fighting for? Voltest? A monarch with more sins on his conscience than Professor has words in his vocabulary. Voltest impregnated his own sister and let his offspring eat the city's inhabitants for years. Furthermore, during the war, he allowed Nilfgaard to plunder and torch neighboring allied kingdoms. Your point? If not Voltest, then who? The Lodge of the Sorceresses? You know not what those bitches do to influence post-war treaties. The resettlements, deportations, the unresolved matter of the Scoia'tael, and others. Your dazzling conclusion? Salamandra is not evil. Not more than those with the will to shape their own fate. If Salamandra is not evil incarnate, then what of Javed? Immorality, rape, murder, treason. What would you call this creature? The future, evolution, or destiny? Screw that future. I'd rather fight a nightmare, even if it's hopeless. You won't surprise me this time. Now, die! For victory! How? As your shield! Professor, tend to him. I have no counters. What's this? Javed crumbled in the swamp. He could easily have destroyed me and made off with the spellbook. He lost it. Fled. Alzur's shield worked beautifully. Javed ran, leaving the professor behind. I won't let him escape next time. What's this? Geralt! Are you well? What happened? You got hit. Hard. The sorceress must have cast a protective spell. Alzur's shield. Professor escaped, and the barrier blocks our path. I'll find him. No doubt your life will end soon, and how useless it's been. You'll die knowing you're an aberration. You're so full of shit, Professor. Why do you seek to prevent the creation of new witches? The answer's simple. You feel you have no rightful place in this world. You owe your existence to the conjunction of spheres. But your creators erred. Know how? Enlighten me. They failed to strip you of emotion. You were meant to slay monsters without making judgments, philosophizing or nursing doubts. You're ineffective. Well, this ineffective, doubt-ridden historical freak is about to kill you. Let's dance. You've triumphed. Go ahead. Your invaluable witch's treasure awaits. You have what you wanted. Show mercy. Never hurts to ask. So you can parry arrows in flight.
this entire cave, the beast would never survive. If I don't run out, the entire salamander base will land on my head. I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death. Sentence to be carried out at once. Your Highness. Sorry, Anna. Geralt. The right of state never sleeps. As the condemned, I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred custom. So be it. You wish, Witcher. He has been spirited away! Someone will pay for this! out of that strange hole in the sky clever girl mother says I meddle perhaps I know everything ask me greetings Geralt greetings Alf have you forgotten me much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world I lost my memory no matter I am called to and I am pleased to find you again me too what brings you here you mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. Who has the lady led to me? Greetings. My name is Geralt. A witcher? 
Here to deal with the noon wraiths? More or less. I lead the life of a hermit with few luxuries, but make yourself at home. I can offer water, food, and a game of dice. Thank you. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Thank you. Anything a witcher can do for you? I do have a problem. How can I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortels. I can do that. Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent, and no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. So how do I fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the King of the Hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. Gerald. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there, the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. How could... One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure! I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away, lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not?
I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, Witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witchers. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witchers feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the Witcher and Sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the Witcher. The Sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the Princess, who would not rule, the Witcheress, who fought humans, and the Sorceress, who cast no spells, used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? Again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Greetings, what brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? Gladly. There you are, bless you. Any work? Yes, I am having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus? I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. Master... Remind... Bring... You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. 
I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? Sorry, I promised to help your wife. Yes? I've got 20 orins for five loaves of bread. Bread is five orins a loaf, and five loaves will be 25 orins. Serious witcher and outcast. I finally found him. What the hell am I doing here? What do you want, witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. 